Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. My name is Paul. I'm going to be showing you a uh, little trick for these IBC uh, valves at the bottom of these IBC tanks. This is called an IBC tank, international bulk container. I have it tipped up right now just so you can see it. You know, normally this is, is on the ground. There's three types of these ball valve. This is a uh, type one of the three different types that you might encounter on the bottom of these. So this is a standard two inch NPT. So this is very simple. You don't need anything special. You just take this adapter that has a two inch NPT on one side and two inch glue on on, on the other side. And you just put that in. Now, if you wanted to plumb this out in two inch or in PVC, you could adapt that down to something smaller if you wanted to, to run it that way. But most of the time I am adapting this to a garden hose. So then you, you need this adapter. This is two inch glue on, which will fit right in there. And then it has a three quarter inch NPT. So then you take this adapter on this side, three quarter inch NPT, and it adapts it to garden hose. So that's very crucial. It can't be anything other than that. So then you just screw that in and now you've adapted the bottom of that valve so that you can just connect up any garden hose and then you can use this the ball valve that's here and you'll have plenty of flow there's no restrictions in there so that adapts it from that so let me show you the other two types okay so this is type number two now this is a very coarse thread two inch so you can't use the same type of adapter that you used on type number one but I'm going to show you a trick with this rubber sleeve that will work on this one and the third type. So just keep in mind, if you have this, the next type that I'm going to show you, type number three, will also work on this one. Okay, so here's the third type. Like I said before, this will work on the second type and the third type. So these threads right here are very thin. They're not the standard two inch MPT. There's actually kind of a, a divot in the back of it where a collar would go over and lock into. Mm -hmm. So here's the universal adapter for these. This is a rubber fitting. It's made out of rubber. You can see it flexible. Normally these are made to go from cast iron to plastic. That's the industry use for this. This is what plumbers use this for. This is a piece that you can pick up at any Home Depot, any Lowe's, any of the hardware stores. There are adapters that you can get for all these other types, but they're going to be harder to find. So this you can pick up anywhere. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need this. I showed you this adapter earlier. This is the uh, two inch to three quarter inch threaded. So this is what you're gonna do. You gotta loosen up one side of the uh, hose clamps. Now the hose clamps on this one, they take a 5 16 nut driver is what I have on here. And I'm just gonna tighten that up. Don't tighten it up too tight. There's not a lot of pressure on these systems. So you don't have to go crazy on it. Just get it nice and snug. And then you're gonna take your fitting same one that was mentioned before, that adapts it from three quarter inch NPT male to three quarter inch hose. Now I have a lot of people ask me, how many times do you wrap pipe tape? If you're using something more coarse, larger, like when you get up into inch and a half, two inch, you're gonna wanna wrap it more. But with three quarter inch, three wraps is just fine. So then you put the three quarter inch NPT side in, you're going to need a, uh, a wrench of some kind. I just have a, uh, an adjustable wrench here. And then you're gonna tighten this up. All right, there's your fitting. There's your universal setup. Now, let me um, tell you, if you want it to go to just two inch pipe, now I'm adapting it here from two inch to a three quarter inch hose, because hose is what I want to use. If you want a two inch pipe, then you just come out with your two inch pipe and go on and plumb it wherever you want to plumb it. So this is how we uh, connect it in here. You got to make sure you have it large enough. So I'm going to take it all the way out and then it just slides over. You can see it slid on there and then you tighten it up. All right, that should be plenty tight. All right, now I'll hook up the hose and we'll check it for leaks and see what kind of flow we get. All right, here's the other end. We'll open it up. Probably got a little bit of air in there, but there we go. So this tank is only about a quarter full, so you're not gonna get a lot of flow. 
So there you go, and there's no leaks in here. And um, now this is usable. So just as one little note, a lot of these valves are plastic and you have a lot of plastic in here. So you want to do something to keep these out of direct sunlight. These last longer. So there you go guys, there's a, an adapter that you can get at any one of your hardware stores to use these IBC tanks. I think these are a great value. A lot of times you can pick these up for, if you were to do the equation, it'd probably come out to less than 20 cents a gallon. And if you're comparing that to these big poly tanks, a lot of times those are close to a dollar a gallon. So this is much cheaper. If you can find them cheaper than that, you know, go for it. Find those deals. A lot of these that I find, I find on Craigslist. If you're using them for drinking water or for plants, you may want to consider a food grade option. Make sure that it has something in there prior that was food grade, that you're not going to be drinking out of a container that held waste oil or something toxic. So keep that in mind too when you're looking to purchase these. Alright guys, that sums up this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to our channel, I'm asking you to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up for us and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.